In this video, we're going to show you how to install the driver's side rear brake caliper on your Ford 500, located right behind your front wheel. The process for the driver's side is the same as the passenger side. If you have a hubcap, go ahead and pop that off. Using your 19 millimeter socket, loosen and remove the lug nuts. With the lug nuts removed, grab the wheel, pull it off and set it aside. Now from inside the vehicle, apply the e-brake. With the e-brake applied, you can see the spring has now compressed. The reason why we applied the e-brake is we wanted to compress the spring and bring this cable back. We wanted to bring this actuator back in. I'm gonna use a C-clamp here and I'm gonna apply it on the back bracket here and on the front e-brake actuator. And I want to set this so when we tighten this down, you can see the actuator compress in a little bit. And the C-clamp should hold the e-brake actuated at this point. When we release the e-brake from inside, the cable itself and the spring should be released and we'll be able to disconnect this from the e-brake arm here. I'm just gonna use our pry tool, work our cable up. I'm gonna apply a little bit of rust penetrant on here. Our cable is binding up a little bit on there. Now that we have the spring and the cable detached, I'm going to remove our C-clamp here. Now in the top right here, I used a pair of needleless pliers to pull the spring back. And we need to disconnect this cable here. There are tabs right here. I'm pushing it with my pick. Now there's gonna be multiple tabs. So what we're gonna do, set our pick down. You can use a small flathead screwdriver as well. You're gonna grab the cable here and you're gonna rotate it till the next tab. I need to push these in. And what these are, these are actually locks. Using our pliers, wanna separate the spring or pull the spring away. And pop that out like so. Now the pliers are holding the spring in place right here. I'm just gonna let that set off to the side. Using a 13 millimeter socket, we're gonna loosen and remove the two slider pin bolts. We're gonna pop out our slider pins. So just grab the boot, pop the pin out. The first thing we wanna do is pay attention to the amount of grease that is on these pins. These are right from the factory and they have just a little bit of grease. We want to add a little bit more to these. 
I'm going to pop some right into the boot here. Add a little bit more to the slider pins. I'm going to do this for both sides. Go ahead and slide these back in. Give those a twist. Make sure that everything is operating good. Just gonna wipe off any excess grease. We're gonna apply some grease to where the sliders are going to be positioned. Now, this just has to be a thin coat. So just kind of smear it around a little bit. Grab your slider here. Go ahead and put these in place. I'm going to flip it over and repeat for this side. Before disconnecting our hose and removing our caliper, you want to make sure you have a catch can underneath, some towels, anything like that to catch any brake fluid that is going to come out of the hose and the caliper. We're going to use a 16 millimeter wrench and loosen that hose. Now you won't be able to unthread this because you're going to twist up this rubber hose and damage this here. So just break this free. Your original hose will probably use a 14 millimeter. This particular hose is using a 16, so we're now free. Use your ratchet and a 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna loosen and remove the two caliper bolts. simply going to do is unthread the hose from the caliper. plug and we're going to line this up and we'll thread this back on. At this point here, we want to go ahead and support our caliper up and out of the way. Remove your brake pads. Let's set those aside. Using a 15 millimeter ratchet or gear wrench, you go ahead and loosen and remove the two caliper bracket bolts.
remove the bolt and the bracket. Install your bracket, line that up. We applied some blue Loctite to the threads. Do the same for the upper bolt. Get that lined up. And once you get both of these bolts started, go ahead and snug them down. Install your brake pads. You want to make sure that the slider pin is positioned horizontal where the flat spots are up and down so they fit into the notch right here. Push those pins in. And get the caliper bolt started. Once you have your bolts in, go ahead and snug those down. And you want to pay attention to make sure that these are not rotating around at all. They should be locked into place. And snug those down. Now at this point, you want to pay attention to this flex hose here. Ours is a little bit twisted up. What we're going to do is break this upper line free. Just a little bit. And use our mini pry bar. You can use a pry tool of your choice. And we're going to pop this retaining clip off of the brake line. It's shaped like a horseshoe. Pop that off like that. I'm going to pop that down and this line will basically just straighten itself right out. Insert this back in. Install the clip and tap that on with a hammer. That's locked in and then tighten down the hard line. Once that's tight, the flex hose should be relaxed in a neutral position. Spray it down with some solvent, clean up any residual brake fluid that might have come out. I'm gonna take our cable, hook it onto the e-brake unit. Our next step is to get this unit on the inside here. I'm going to use the hook pliers here.
Okay, we have the latch on, we have the spring on, and the cable attached to the bracket. Remove the rubber cap here from the bleeder screw. Once that's off, I'm gonna use an 11 millimeter wrench, usually the box end, and open up this bleeder. And what this is going to do is this is gonna allow any air to purge up and bubble out through here. Once we see a solid stream of brake fluid, we're gonna close this up. Looks like we have a solid stream of brake fluid coming out. No air bubbles. Go ahead and close this. Now once that bottom's out, just give it a little bit more. Good, and wipe down any excess fluid. And pop the cap back on. Go ahead and pump up the brake. Make sure the brake pedal feels solid. Go ahead and apply that e-brake. Do it a couple times. Make sure everything is working nice and easy. Open up the reservoir. You want to go ahead and add the appropriate type of brake fluid to the appropriate height. We have the minimum here and a max here. Once you're at that max line, go ahead and close up that cap. Grab your wheel, line it up onto the wheel studs. Get all the lug nuts started by hand first. Once those are installed, I'm gonna go ahead and snug them all down. Using your 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and torque down the wheel to 95 foot pounds. And if you're installing a hubcap, you want to look for the little notch on the bottom here that's gonna fit the valve stem. Line that up and gently tap that cap into place and you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.